breaking news welcome to today's headlines if the government like let them send one million to kano jet it won't end fulani atman sheikh gumi If the government like, let them send one million to Kano Jet. It won't end. Fulani Etman, Sheikh Guma says. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Former Executive Secretary of the National Health Insurance Scam, NHIS, Professor Yusman Yusuf, has lamented what he called the federal government's increasing militarization of banditry in the country, stating that a million to Kano jet will not solve the problem. Making reference to the 12 Tucano jet recently purchased by the federal government, Husman said, Bandit Rail is a social issue. His views were also echoed by Islamic cleric Sheikh Abuba Kagumi, who expressed fears about the seeming infiltration of artsmen by element of the Boko Haram terrorists. Gome restated his earlier position that Nigeria has pushed the bandits to the wall and bemoaned the growing animosity towards the Fulani, saying while over 99% of them are good people, it is only an insignificant number of artsmen who have taken to crimes. They spoke at an interactive policy dialogue and cultural festival organized by the Miyeti Allah Kautal Hall Fulani Social Cultural Association launched with the aim of addressing challenges confronting the Fulani ethnic stock in Nigeria. The first interactive policy dialogue and cultural festival with the team, the future of Fulani pastoralists in Nigeria was held on Thursday in Abuja. Delivering his keynote address, Prof. Usman said, Bandit rail is a social problem and Nigeria is increasingly militarizing it. There is a role for the military, but there is not going to be a military solution to banditry anywhere in this country. Only if we all come in to solve this problem, and it is not time to blame anybody. We are all in this mess together. And somebody told me, we all bored this pregnancy and gave birth to this monster called banditry. We are all responsible for this problem directly or indirectly. And the soldiers are called to clean up the mess. I told them, military, you cannot do this alone. Yusman added that the menace is fueled by the tool ingredient, drugs supplied from southern Nigeria, and hams supplied from the core north and neighboring countries like Niger. He recalled his visit to the forest alongside Sheikh Gumi and others, saying clerics have a great role to play in resolving the issue. Usman said, 
Toji Kohn of the bandit leaders waited for hours for two hours. He said he waited because he had it was a cleric. So also we were in Niger State. The meeting in Niger was a meeting of six war commanders from different northern states. They waited for hours and could see the respect they had for clerics. The clerics and traditional rulers had yet to get to the heart of these kids, not soldiers. We must sit down and realize where we have gone wrong. From Zamfara, we went south down to Elisha Baritan, close out to the border with Benin Republic or Kogi State. The further down we went, the more we saw the beautiful Fulani we were used to weed stick. Hop north, the sticks have been replaced with AK-47 and AK-49. You see kids living on AK-47 and AK-49. Shehik Dahiru, Bauchil opens his mouth and they listen and they have the pictures of Sheikh Dahiru Bauchi. These are the people we need to go through and not the military. You can have a million Tukano jet, you cannot solve this problem. On his part, Gumi said, They, bandit, have been pushed to the wall. Somebody would say they are criminals. But I wonder who is not a criminal. When villagers would hear on radio that this governor or accountant has stolen billions, what do you expect him to do? He would steal it too. My only fear is the infiltration of terrorists into their midst. I think it is something we can have to consider very seriously. We have to go in and capture them from terror, and even the terrorists themselves. I think there has been something, some neglect. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section.